What's up, Mikey? Back again, Corrupt Strength. Last day in Houston, Texas. Heavy squat day after a long weekend, man. We got 470 times three. Pause. Pause. We're drinking a little caffeine. Slow morning, but I feel okay. I'm a little sore, a little tired, but had a little pop tart. A little ghost energy. Not sponsored, probably should be. We're gonna squat them out. All the crew's here, and I think there's, I think it's gonna be a party, man. Jamar's over here, Petrie's over here, dancing in the corner. And uh, yeah, the vibes are good. It's already like kind of crowded here, but I think Hidden Village is coming with a fat brew, uh, plus Russell on the way. So um, we're gonna get after it, see what happens. A little bit of chaos, a little bit of fun. Once I get these squats done, then I get accessories, but I won't care. So I'm gonna try to get the squats done before the chaos starts so we can be friends and have fun. Um, but let's get after it. I used to listen to all the podcasts from me back in the day. Yeah. Um, so, especially like when you used to go into your life, one of the things that was like cool to me um, was you saying that you had that like rut, like that really rough moment in your life to where you're just like, you know, you're playing video games all day, you're drinking something up, you're just kind of going through shit or whatever. Yeah. And then you're like, no, nah, I got to get my life together. So you end up finding different passions and stuff like that. You start yeah. noticing that you're just like letting yourself go. Like, that shit was hella relatable. So, like, I remember listening to that back when I was, shit, I think I was 20. One, what do you so know? I'm 27. Yeah. So, like, yeah. I'm. That man. happened when I was about 20. I was going to junior college. I just stopped playing basketball. Yep. I was playing the fuck out of Call of Duty. And I was like kind of working, but I wasn't like doing shit. School wasn't it. Yep. Yeah. My parents were cool, man. I was lucky. Did you put, I almost put more pressure on me than my parents did. Because the story sounds better, but it's probably like six months of being a real bum. But at that age, like all my friends were getting jobs. I was gonna say, like a lot can happen in six months. Yeah. Like, that's, especially when everyone else is moving at a fast that's pace. That's what it felt like. It's, I was like, damn, everyone's killing it and I'm a piece of shit. Yeah, I'm like, but even still, like 21's so young. Because if a 21 year old came to me for advice for that, I'd be like, man, it's all right. Yeah. You could be a bum for a little while. I still feel like I just now realize that 27, I'm just really young at 27. Yeah. Like I'm literally just starting a whole real new life, you know? Like the amount of change that I've had within just a single year of me just working hard and just. Yeah growing and putting yeah. in the work to grow yeah. mentally, Got just emotionally, team, all this hat. whole team, we're going, like, it's just, it's just, it's nice. Yeah. Um, and it's just so much more. Like, I can't even imagine my life 10 years from now. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm excited for yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad we connected, bro. Yeah, no. I feel good. I didn't think I would. Sometimes it's hard, you know, you feel like fatigued in certain ways, mentally, emo like socially, emotionally, but it's not always related to what's going on here. I think that's my first all-time life PR, regardless of body weight and shit, probably in like six years. So part of it's because I just didn't pause that heavy in the day, but I think I've done 495 for one. There's no way I've done 470 for three. And at least the boys said the pauses were pretty legit, so maybe comment below if you guys think I'm a cheater. You got the Migos, you oh, got shit. Julio, Jones, Julio Jones, and Silent Mike. <laughs> <laughs> when the fuck is this? This had to be early. This was uh, 2017, 2018. Yeah, because Julio looks young as hell. Yeah. And I, he doesn't he doesn't look like he has his dreads either. No, I don't think he does. Though. I think it was short. Yeah, and that's, uh, that? that's Pete. QCP. And then I forgot the dude's name. Don't put it on camera so I don't look like an asshole. But dude does all their music videos. I forgot his name. Some the God. He's a philographer. Okay. Yeah. Look, you can see Silent Mike like <laughs> all the way there. The 14th member of QC. <laughs> damn, fuck. RP take, man. God damn. Crazy, huh? Yeah. Get a, I can get like right next to my shoulders. Like, look. I'll get you out of the song. You get me shredded. Yeah. Yeah. Look, look. I gotta go wheel wide, baby. Yeah. Playing the harp. Yeah. 
Oh, it's just veins like that. It's only this weather, bro. I ain't got veins like that. Bro, look at your fucking forearms, man. Yeah. I paint those on every morning. Uh, Rock Lee versus Gara? Yeah. First, I was I, you guys talking like it's yeah, UFC. Yeah, I want you to. Talking huh? like it's UFC matchups. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I versus Payne. I'll give it a chance. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just telling you, man. You just That's how you hit a PR. Once you get into it, you just have to like, you have to just like kind of relax. I wouldn't think of it too much of like you're trying to watch an anime. It's just like you're consuming yeah. content. Yeah, because yeah. I'm a big Star Wars guy. And if people came to me now, I'm like, oh, I never watched Star Wars in the 40. I'll be like, hey, man. Yeah, you may hate it. Yeah. yeah. I, I, but I can see that. Like, yeah, I loved yeah, it. I grew up on it. But hey, you may hate it. You may yeah. think it's slow and sucks and corny. You get you. Like but it. this you is an anime for everybody, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is yeah. anime for everybody. Yeah, where are the titties? <laughs> they got that. You saw yeah. Jake's IG story a couple yeah, days ago? Yeah. Bro, what? what? Yeah. Who's the all, man? He was showing He's, me. We're in the car right, right here. It's like into hentai. Uh, yeah. Dude, so, I don't know. He's trying to do People don't know he plays like that. Yeah. I kind of like it, bro. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. To work out in is good. Yeah, and like, it really does remind me of like summer league basketball. Summer leagues, the schools are closed, obviously. And it's 100 degrees in sack, and they just open gates. They don't run the AC. In the winter, it's all insulated, but in the summer, it feels good. I don't mind it. It's literally even cold out here. I actually don't like it. Yeah, I'd rather be in there. It's not bad. It's not yeah. bad. Um, session done, man. It's hard being on program. And I kind of understand partially why powerlifters are like recluse. You know, they just stay at home. And not even me. Well, I kind of stopped competing besides, you know, not really fulfilling me and kind of the deeper stuff. The superficial stuff is that on the grind with content, on the grind with networking and coaching and helping everybody I can. Uh, it's hard to be on program and it like hits your prime every single day. So like today's the heaviest squat I've probably hit in six years. And I didn't know that, but I knew it was going to be heavy. Joe gave me the program this morning, wrote it out, we chatted it out. And then now I got to squat 470 for a pause three and we got her done. It's supposed to be like a seven, eight. I'd probably say, I didn't look at the video yet, but in my head it's more like an eight, five. Um, but we're still, you know, in the pocket, but that was the upper, that was the upper choice, but I didn't want to do 460 or something, because I think I've done that in the past. So, when in Rome, we're at Corrupted, everyone's here, man. We got world record holders, we got top level lifters, we got national champions, we got Russ, we got everybody. So I'm like, all right, we gotta, it's not like I'm trying to impress them, but the energy is good and you got to feed off that energy. Same thing I'm talking about business, personal, whatever. Surround yourself with like-minded humans, surround yourself with positive folks. You know, the we over me stuff, I just feel their energy, whether they mean to give it me or not. They're positive people and they're doing positive things for the sports, for each other. So, got after that a little bit, um, and that's it. Back downs, 450 for five, not a PR. One time I went ape shit, I did 450 for 12 or 10. I just went crazy one time, it's a couple years ago. Never gonna do that again. <laughs> but, so it's not a PR, but a good back down. Bunch of 405 for some work. And then, uh, what we got now? That's it, I need some food, I had a pop tart. I need some water, I'm gonna go buy water. We'll catch you in the next one, man. We over me. Take care of each other, man. Take care of yourself. Take care of others, man. Be compassionate out there. I'll see you in the next one. Monday, Thursday, Sunday. We out.